we pick up our aorta here down past the diaphragm. And remember, we just kind of changed the name just a little bit, and we call this guy the abdominal aorta from here on down, pretty much, until we see this little V right here. Now, if we follow that abdominal aorta through the diaphragm, I want you to notice these two large blood vessels here and here. We now have to supply all of the lower part of the body with blood and also collect it and send it back to the heart with the deoxygenated blood. So this first large blood vessel, and it's red, so remember it's an artery, this first large blood vessel is called the celiac artery. The celiac artery will branch off into multiple branches, and it will actually go and it will supply your spleen, your stomach, and your liver. So that's how those organs get the oxygenated blood that they need, is through this first big large blood vessel right here that we call the celiac artery. So we still have a little bit more of our abdominal aorta here, and I want you to notice the second large artery here. The second large artery that you see here is called the superior mesenteric. The superior mesenteric is going to branch off into all those little tiny blood vessels that we saw here in the mesenteries. So all of these little guys that you see here in the mesenteries, these little tiny blood vessels here, they originally came off of this very large superior mesenteric artery here. Now I want you to notice here, look at this big blue blood vessel that keeps coming on down here. This big blue vessel that keeps on coming down here is my inferior vena cava. Notice that a branch of the inferior vena cava is going to come over here to my kidney. This blue blood vessel here that's going to my kidney is actually going to be my renal vein. The deoxygenated blood from the kidney is going to collect in the renal vein, travel to my inferior vena cava, and go back up to the right atrium of my heart. Notice coming down here, my abdominal aorta. I now see this little red blood vessel that's coming over to my kidney. This little red blood vessel that's coming over to the kidney is the renal artery. It's supplying the kidney with the oxygenated blood that it needs. Moving on down, abdominal aorta, inferior vena cava, until we hit this series of upside down V's. And remember, my ureter is kind of in my way here. So we'll move the ureter out of the way. And I want to show you this first set of upside down red V right here. Now we're going to branch. The abdominal aorta kind of dead ends here, and that's it. It's done, no more aorta. This branch is going to go off to my right leg. This branch is going to go off to my left leg because we still need to supply our legs with the blood that it needs and drain them from the blood that's deoxygenated. So these two vessels here are my external iliac arteries. They're going to supply my legs with oxygenated blood. Now, down here you can see that I have a set of blue veins right here going to the right leg. This one, again my ureters in the way, coming from the left leg. Again, my inferior vena cava dead ends. Inferior vena cava is no more. I now have two blue blood vessels going to each leg. Each one of these little branches, as my inferior vena cava dead ends, this guy is going to be my external iliac vein on the right side, and we just call this guy the external iliac vein on the left side. Now, we're going to continue to branch all the way down here to our legs, but I want to point out one last blood vessel here, an artery and a vein, that you're probably familiar with. Here's the abdominal wall. So here if I put this little guy back right here and close everybody up, I now see this blood vessel coming out to my leg, this pair of blood vessels coming out to my leg. When I come out to my leg, we don't call this the external iliacs anymore. When we come out into the leg, we call them something else. So I'm going to pull this guy back and we're going to see the two little artery, the, the two little blood vessels, one artery and one vein. And this red one here that's coming out in the leg, this is your femoral artery. So this is going to supply the lower leg with the blood, blood that it needs, the oxygenated blood that it needs. And then here is the femoral vein. 
the femoral vein is going to drain the leg of deoxygenated blood and rejoin my inferior vena cava. And you know by now we're going to go back to the heart. Now just as a quick little tidbit of information, if that blood vessel is cut due to trauma or any kind of surgery, you can bleed out in a matter of minutes and die if the femoral artery is cut. So that concludes uh, the circulatory system of the rabbit and the dissection of the rabbit. Please refer to your lab documents as you look at these videos and look at the still pictures as well because pictures from the rabbit that I've been taking are going to show up on the lab exam.